there, it's Latrice Murphy, and today I want to share with you um, how I'm creating a custom Halloween chalkboard to display in my home um, this Halloween season. And as you see in the picture above um, that I did not videotape um, me spray painting the board with the chalkboard paint and also these white frame pieces. Um, just so you know, um, we do use a table saw and a miter saw to cut the pieces that I use for this. Either my husband does it or if he is out of town or something weird, um, I'll get it out and do it myself. I do, know, I do know how to use those. And then I'm using this awesome, the orange pom-pom, the large pom-pom ribbon. It is 46232 in the orange. And I'm using the black mini pom-pom. I love these. And then I've got some of this black mesh which you'll see in another Halloween project as well. This stuff is really cool. And then um, what I didn't picture above is what I pulled in. I pulled in this double-sided um, satin ribbon. It's a nice deep purple and then it's black on the other side. Perfect for Halloween. And I'm going to use that to decorate the edges of my chalkboard frame. Alright, so just so you know, my backing is a piece of um, either plywood, I think this one is plywood, and then I just got a piece of cheap trim from my local um, like Home Depot or Menards and I had my husband cut them on a 45 degree angle and what I'm going to do is I'm just using a hot glue gun today to add this to the edge of the frame and he's already measured them perfectly for me which is awesome Alright, so I'm just going to hot glue this all the way around, okay? So I'll start with this edge here, and then we will move on from there, okay? To me, hot glue is just the easiest way to do something like this. I mean, you could get out your staple gun or something like that, but to me, hot glue is just so fast. It's so easy. And I use um, a high temp hot glue gun, which when it cools off, that it's not going to move. And also, the plywood is a little bit permeable. So that hot glue kind of seeps into the, the plywood and it really sticks. The reason I use plywood over, say like MDF, which is a little bit smoother, um, my chalk will stand out a little bit more. It's a little bit rougher. And so when I go back to season the chalkboard and then write on it, I'll get a nice crisp white um, look to it. All right, so we're just going to glue the rest of these down. So now I'm just adding my last piece at the top here. I'm just going to press it down just so it holds. Alright, so now I've got my 20 by 20 chalkboard frame ready to be embellished. And what the plan is, is to take this pom-pom and wrap it around the edge of the frame like this. So then you'll be able to, when this is leaning against our shelf, you'll be able to see that pom-pom all the way around. Alright, so I'm going to start at this top corner. I'm actually going to start it wrapped around a little bit. And um, I will keep going all the way around. I'm just going to hold that there a minute so I know it tacks on. And then once I pull this down, I will um, add little dots of glue every so often.
and I'm just going to do that all the way around the picture frame. So you can see how it's starting to look. I love that. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you with um, showing you how I'm going all the way around the picture frame. I want to show you what I'm going to do next. So with this black, I'm thinking I want to border the black right on top of this or maybe here. I actually haven't decided yet. I think I'll put it here because then they won't be so close to the black chalkboard part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, right in that crack, put a thin line of glue all the way down. And I'm just going to do a little at a time. And I'm going to face these pom-poms out. And then just press it down in there. All right. So then I will also continue that all the way around the picture frame. Okay, so then the last thing I want to show you is... Um, what I call like a junk bow or um, and actually junk bow is a phrase that I learned from a friend uh, Margie Romney Aslett actually taking one of her classes she taught me that um, so I'm just gonna take this mesh cut it on an angle okay so I've got two pieces of mesh cut on an angle and then I want to take some of this awesome double-sided also cut that on an angle and I'm not measuring or anything. This is a great way to use up some scraps. So I'm just cutting that on an angle. And I'm going to take all four of these, layer them together, and it doesn't matter what order or anything. And I'm literally just going to, and I, you've probably, if you've seen my videos before, you've seen me make these before. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. a nice tight knot just like that and kind of you can kind of spread that out if you need to now I will go back and look through some of my embellishments and see if I have any cool um, Halloween-y buttons or flare or anything like that but this is pretty much what we're going for and I will probably end up putting it there on the side um, or on an angle or at the top here just to embellish that frame a little bit more and you'll be able to see that in the photographs below so um, what else can I tell you um, super easy to use these pom-poms are amazing um, as well as um, any May Arts ribbon is amazing for making bows and things like this and I'm actually going to trim this so that my sides are a little bit more even but it's really awesome um, stuff so Please take a look at the ribbons in the shop, and if you're able to, go ahead and buy some, set up an account and buy some, but otherwise, try this DIY Halloween project. Your kids will love it. Um, your friends and family, when they come over, they see your chalkboard art, they will just love it. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.